Hi guys, Jay Smith here, welcome to the Ask Golf Nut channel. So today we are doing the STZ 230 Hybrid, replacing now the old CLK 2020. That give you an idea exactly when it was made. Yep, it's now two to three years old, so it deserves a bit of a revamp. And it's got the same technology in this new STZ 230 as in their drivers. So we've still got the lovely little blue lump, which I'm starting to get used to now, that Cortec chamber. The black and blue um, was an interesting kind of look to start with, but I'm getting used to it now. Uh, inside that Cortec chamber is big lump of TPU, which is down if I can find exactly what the exact um, wording of TPU is, but it's the same kind of stuff that your mobile phone cases are made from. So it's soft, pliable and stuff like that. And the whole idea of it is to, well, they got rid of the wave um, technology that they've had in there, where their wave technology was their concertina effect. The whole idea when you hit the bottom of the golf club, which people do, you thin it, um, the whole sole flexes and you gain a little bit more extra ball speed. Well, that's now gone, which is good because um, it's now changed for the Cortec chamber and that Cortec chamber houses a little weight. And that little weight in there, alongside the reworked waffle crown at the top and also a thicker weight pad at the back, uh, works to try and keep spin rates they say um, normalized and under control and the only thing other thing we got on here to change and talk about is the MAS1C steel face and again any metallurgist out there get in the comments section and let me know exactly what MAS1C means um, so yeah effectively it's a, a variable face thickness face which um, has different pockets of the face which is slightly thinner than the middle and the reason why is obviously when it's slightly thinner it can trampoline more which you can gain a bit of extra ball speed from parts of the face where you really shouldn't be hitting but we do um, which would normally be illegal if it was in the middle because remember everything is governed so the middle can only go as fast as the middle can but outsides can be a little bit faster so um, right that's all we've got to talk about when it comes to the tech side of things let's go to the hitting area now let's go pick a fun hole to try and hit this uh, into a green um, I've got the 19 degree here and remember it has got the same loft sleeve that we've had for quite some time now when it comes to the Mizuno drivers fairy would say and hybrid so your custom fit shaft should just drop straight in anyway so let's go give it a hit let's go see how it feels we see how it looks and um, then we're going to go do the forgiveness side right at the end of the video uh, because that'll be the fun side to see how well this performs all over the face Take your set now changed. I've got it at Beaver Hills Country Club, hole four, like I did have the JPX 923 Forge and Tor um, irons, but um, I've had to dial the <laughs> tee quite a bit further back to a point of where this actually isn't a tee. As you can see, I'm in the woods, uh, but it is 233 yards and I have got water and green and all that lot to go over, so it'll be a bit of fun. Do I expect to hit the green? Probably not, let's be honest, but uh, it's a bit of fun anyway. So, right, let's go have a little look at um, how this one performs because the looks of it i must admit that blue and black is a quite striking and that cortex chamber there's one thing they've changed on this which i love straight away which i hated on the old clk the old clk had that wave technology at the bottom which worked wonders don't get me wrong and effectively that's what that cortex chamber is hoping to carry on for and make better and stuff like that because it's been a little while since they've renewed the clk but because of that wave technology when you put the golf club on the floor and I'm not a hoverer I am a dragger as such I put it on the ground and I drag it back and when you're practicing off mats not so much off grass you, you don't really notice it when you're on grass you do in certain aspects but but mainly no in here when you've got this kind of turf um, it grabs and so you kind of want to pull away and the head's being grabbed by the turf and it's really distracting so I've, yeah it just I didn't like it but this has got that cortex chamber that hasn't got the visible ribs so it doesn't grab and I like it straight away right let's give this one a hit because it's glossy on top glossy black the little kind of lipstick line around the back running bird logo on the top saying please hit me here let's go see how it feels solid I wouldn't say soft but it is for a height wow we Oh my God, this is going a long way. How far has that gone? Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Two, four, four. Ah, 18 feet. There we go. That's the reason why. For a second now, it's me getting me worried how far this is going to go. But I tell you what, though, they're still going a blooming long way. Two, four, four. 
Wow, 32 yards in the air and 42 uh, degrees of center angle. So that's borderline if it's actually gonna stop or not. The feel though, that is a punchy hybrid. That really is a nice feeling punchy hybrid. The old CLK was a little bit tingy. Well, it was a hybrid, I guess. This is not tingy at all. It is not tingy in the slightest. It is a quite a satisfying punch. I mean, that is a face open, but I tell you what, go on, hit the green anyway. Oh, it's doing really well. That's doing lovely. I mean, two, three, one I've got on quad here. What's that, two, three, seven. So six yards difference because of the um, elevation. There you go, so two, four, four, two, three, eight, the one on the first one. But still 240 yards nearly for like carry for one of these things at 19 degrees. Wowzers, that's crazy. Uh, 35 yards in the air, 46 degrees ascent angle. Yeah, at two, three, seven, two, three, one. That's really, I, I, yeah. And the fact that it's not dragging, I'm loving that. Now, probably I do prefer the CLK top where it had a non-glossy. I, I actually quite liked the fact that it had a, quite a satiny, but um, again, it's not, it's not putting me off in the slightest. Oh, that's a miss hit. Wowzers. <laughs> go on. There you go. Half slightly crossed, that normally happens anyway because that's what happens when I have longer irons or longer golf clubs. 3.2 open and look at that heel. Wow. So that still hit the green when I hit it there. This is gonna be a fun time when it comes to testing how far now, that I wouldn't count. Under normal circumstances, I would not count that as a miss uh, to, to show. It's a miss, obviously, but it, it, the reason why it's gone right is because of my open face. It's, a, it's an artificial. I wanna hit as close as I can do to zero and then miss hit it and then see how gear effect works and see how forgiving it will be. But still, that's very, very good. Oh, it's just so, so satisfying. It's just such an absolute, Punchy weapon, really, really nice. Two, three, one, whatever that said, two, three, seven, I'm guessing, six yards. Winner, um, yeah, so that's Healy still, nine mil heel. Um, slightly across, slightly open, my classic uh, hybrid that I always do, but that's doing really, really well, spinning really well, nearly at 4,000. Ball speed at 147, whoa. I mean, yeah, this feels properly solid. I really do like this hybrid, really do. Now that's a miss. That's a Healy miss. Look at that. <laughs> that wasn't a very good shot. That was three across, three open. My classic fade that I do with, with hybrids and, and fairy woods and drivers a little bit different. I, may, I aim out to the right a little bit. That's a different conversation. But look at that, that's 14 heel, four low. And it's still carrying 230 and it's 11.9 yards offline once the green has taken it. But you can see by the carry point there, that's not far off at all. Last one, because I'm going to go give this a hit everywhere, not just heel, but low toe and see how it really, really performs over all parts of the face. It's just lovely. That one there I caught slightly better when it comes, look at this, look at the carry on that. Oh my word. Two across, two open, slightly healy, but I mean, that's doing so well. That just didn't fade enough. Have you ever had a golf club that you wish just faded a bit more? <laughs> but I mean, that is the only one really that I've missed. So, I, yeah, out of six shots, yeah, but two, three, whatever it is. Anyway, right, let's go give this a hit all over the face. Sort of toe, heel, done that already, and low. And just go see how performance suffers when you don't quite catch the middle and see how well this thing really performs. So after hitting a load of shots with the STZ Hybrid, I want to say one thing first before we go into any form of the data when it comes to ball data, clubhead data and all the forgiving fun parts as well. I want to say one thing. Thank you to Mizuno for getting rid of that wave technology. Well, they haven't got rid of it. They've replaced it with that Cortex chamber, that blue lovely thing they've got in there. Well, some people may not like it, some people don't, and it doesn't matter. Um, horses for courses and all that lot of that. But from my point of view, that wave technology, because of that ridge um, hitting shots, uh, with the new 
hybrid is so much more fun. Why? Because the old used to catch on the floor because I am not a hoverer, I'm a dragger. So as I used to put the golf club on the floor, that wave technology, the turf used to sit in between that wave technology. And as I was to pull it away, it used to catch and it used to, yeah, anyway. So thank you very much for making something which does the same thing as a wave technology, but hasn't got all the wave technology thing on show because yeah, it's just frustrating. So thanks for that. Right, let's go to the ball data, club head data, and the all important forgiveness side of things. So first of all, the STZ at 19 degrees. Ball speed, 147.4. Launching at 12.8, spinning at 3.6. Going 36 yards in the air, descending at 43.1 degrees. So not quite 45 degrees that I'd like, but it is carrying near on 240. On average, it's a rocket ship, this thing is. Um, 103.9 miles an hour for clubbed speed, 1.42 efficiency, which 1.42 efficiency, guys, is what I would see on a mediocre driver. This is a three hybrid. Um, attack angle 0.7 down, club path 0.6 across, face open by 1.7, so little baby fade dynamics. 18.8 um, .8 degrees of loft and four mil toe, four mil low. But you have got standard deviation on them numbers as well, so you can see how well something does when it comes to the ups and downs. I'm not comparing two golf clubs at the moment, so standard deviation just shows that I'm obviously having variance because I'm hitting different shots. When you're having two separate golf clubs that you can comparing, you do need to look at standard deviation because you need to make sure that you are standard deviating um, the same amount for both clubs if not it's not fair to say one is better than the other one because if you're not hitting the same as good or as bad as the other one you're going to get an advantage either way because of strike alone as well as all the other dynamics involved in swinging a golf club so you've got the graphical representation there of the strike all the delivery and stuff like that you can see it finishes a little bit to the right by not a lot, but yeah, you can see it's there. So let's go have a bit of fun. Let's have a look at some of these miss hits that I managed to capture. Um, clever speed, 103 miles an hour, 1.5 across, 2.1 open, so little baby fate. However, you hit it four mil low, 23 mil toe. That's very toey. Remember, this is a hybrid. It is a hybrid, it's not a driver. So you're moving 23 millimeters away. That's not far from missing the head. Um, so it started off to the right and it has geared. Has it over geared? Yes, it has. So it, um, for my testing, and this is my testing and anyone wants to put in their two pence, they can do by all means comment below. My testing so far on this thing that if anything out the heel, it's really very, very good when it comes to gear effect. Out the toe, it wants to gear slightly more than I would like. When I say slightly more than I would like, I'm talking about margins. I'm not talking that it, this gears, when you hit out the toe, it gears 70 yards left, nothing like that. It just over gears fractionally. That's a observation that I've seen on a couple of times, a uh, couple of sessions hitting it. Um, 102.7 miles an hour club head speed, 0.5 across, 0.5 close, so little baby left one. 11 mil low, two mil toe, 11 mil low. Um, so it has it launched 8.1 degrees, yes it has. It's spun up a little bit more as well at 4.3, um, but it's gone 2.22 and 2.37 total, but it's kept its line um, 7.9 yards off uh, line at 2.40 nearly. It's done very, very well from the classic low strike. Now, this is the difference between going to a hybrid and going to a three iron or two iron or whatever it is. You are not going to get this level of performance if you hit a two iron 11 mil low. This is why you have a hybrid. Right, 102.2 miles an hour, 0.6 across, 0.7 open. So baby little fade dynamics. 13 low, 11 heel. And yes, it is as bad as what that dynamic makes it look like. Um, that felt horrible. Um, however, it's hit target. It started massively left at 3.8 degrees because of the low heel strike, roll and bulge, and has geared correctly back to 0.6 yards offline. It's very, very good, this thing is off, off heel strikes uh, and low strikes. It just, the toe for me just seems a little bit more sensitive. Um, 215 yards carrying 241. Now, obviously that's dropping distance. Yes, it is, but I'm not surprised off that strike. But when you hit something that poorly, you swung well, but you've hit that poorly. Um, I mean, that could, that could, a lot of golf clubs, that could go anywhere. Um, it could go directly left. It could go over cut. But the fact this is cut, exact, or geared exactly the right amount. Well done, STZ. Um, 101 miles an hour, 0.6 across, 1.9 open, so little baby fade normally. Um, 9 mil low, 18 mil toe, 27 millimeters away from gross, um, 2.9 yards offline, so bang on target. 
um, but lost a little bit of distance, of course it will from that strike. But what, again, I, this hybrid, um, a little bit sensitive, I think, off normalized toe hit. So, so, so high on and high, centered on the face, but slightly toey. Low toe, um, low heel, low heel. Very, 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 very good. Um, what we got here? Uh, oh, yeah. 102.8 miles an hour. Path 0.0. Face 0.2. Damn, that was close to being perfect. However, formula low 19 mil heel. <laughs> Wowzers. So, um, dynamics is basically perfect. I'm saying hit target with my dynamics of how I hit the ball. Um, 19 heel, four low, 23 millimeters away gross from middle. That is very healy. It's gone to, to four, 224 yards. So it's lost 13 yards or so, which is amazing from that strike. And it's gone five yards offline, which is again, amazing from this strike, from that strike. The the forgiveness possibilities of this STZ is bordering on the lines of Epic. Not Epic, that was a different manifest. You know what I mean. Um, I think it's the last one. No, one, one last one. 102.6 miles an hour, although it's funny. 0.1 across, 1.8 open, so baby to the right. Yeah, it's finished 8.6 yards off to the right because my face was open. However, I did hit it one mil low, 25 mil heel. So we're just having a game as to how bad I can hit it. Um, that is horrid. That is really horrid. It's dropped 20 yards in carry, not surprised, um, but it's gone exactly offline the amount which my face was delivered open. So if I'm gonna deliver the face open or closed, then unfortunately that's where the, with, I'm telling the golf ball to go. Um, you could see why the one beforehand, how close the target was with a face which is basically zero to it, and the path is zero. This one, I've, path is zero, 0.1, but my face is slightly open, so go to the right. I've hit a 25 mil heel and it's gone slightly to the right. It's gone exactly where I've told it to from a 25 mil heel. This golf club is hilarious. Right, so out the middle. I wanna show you what happens when you hit one out the middle um, when you're doing your job properly rather than messing around hitting it in spots where people really shouldn't do but do, so need to know how well it performs. 103.7 miles an hour, 0.8 from the inside and 1.9 open. So again, little fade delivery, but that's what I do when it comes to my longer golf clubs, I fade them. So I aim a little bit to the left, so I'm generally speaking, I'll just fade it. Um, 242 yards carry. Yep, that done that. 242 yards carry. Um, it's doing that by launching at 15 degrees and spinning at 3-1. So we are not talking that it's launching at 17, 18 degrees and spinning at 1-8 like driver uh, spin. It is still spinning well. This is a three hybrid and it's going at 3000 RPM. It's 147 miles an hour ball. There was a couple of times there where I hit nearly 150 ball on certain shots. Um, so remember, obviously, we've got the technology within the head. We've got that core tech, everything is going on. Um, okay, so when it comes to my conclusion of this new STZ uh, hybrid, which is replacing the old CLK, and it is the old CLK now because it's, what, three years old, give or take. Um, I love the fact that it's got rid of that wave technology. Love it. Um, I love the fact that it's still there, but in a slightly different thing called uh, core tech chamber. But... Having that wave technology gone and having that ridge gone allows me to be out of practice with a hybrid on turf or use a hybrid on turf or compare something or review something where I don't have to constantly feel this thing dragging and it's really frustrating. Um, so brilliant, that's one thing. Uh, when it comes to its performance, you'd be hard pressed to find a hybrid out does it. Um, you'll find hybrids of all the manufacturers, all the premium manufacturers will all be in and around the same spot, no different. Um, so this isn't better than anything else out there because remember things, guys, things are governed. So yeah, it just does things exceptionally well when you hit out the middle, but it also does things exceptionally well when you don't quite hit the middle. And you can see by some of the shots I just hit there, they were nowhere even close to the middle. My only gripe, my only tiny gripe is the fact that off the toe, normal toe shot, so vertically uh, middle, but toe, it seems to want to over gear a touch. Now I'm not saying it's massive, but I'm just saying it's over gearing a fraction. Um, so obviously test it by all means, make sure if you don't know where you, if you know where you, you strike it as a general rule. Um, if you are a toe person, see how you uh, deliver your face as, as well like that. So get custom fit basically what I'm saying is that this thing has got potential to be in the right hands 
a game-changing hybrid. Um, it'd be an interesting one to see when it comes to someone who's a normal toe striker with their, with their hybrids and see what the difference will be, how much it gears in another person's hands. So, hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs up down there. Go on, YouTube likes it, so do I. Um, next to it is a little subscribe button. There's a little red button. Click that one, that'd be, it's free. Go on, why not? It helps the channel out immensely. Next to it is a little uh, bell icon. It's a notification bell, and that will notify you next time I upload another video, which should be sort of fairly soon, because I've got loads and loads of stuff to do. And we'll see you again soon.